CoWork is a large consortium that involves universities, national laboratories, water utilities, and nonprofit and for profit organizations in the US and Israel. We are seeking solutions that can satisfy both water, energy, and cost concerns across the entire water system. It has the ability to conduct high quality materials research up to large scale piloting at actual desalination and wastewater treatment facilities. Israel is actually uh, a leading country in reusing wastewater. It reuses about 90% of its wastewater. So through the co-work center, we're working in three major themes, water desalination, water treatment, nutrient recovery, and energy recovery. The desalination laboratory here at the Zuckerberg Institute for Water Research is involved in almost all the aspects of desalination, including the pre-treating of the water so that the water will not foul the membranes that are used to desalt it, the actual desalination processes, changing the membranes to make them more selective for the particular desalination task that is on hand. The new materials that uh, CoWork is developing for applications in water treatment are both uh, membranes, these are ultrafiltration uh, and nanofiltration membranes that resist fouling, uh, as well as uh, sorbents for a type of contaminant called uh, PFOS, perfluoroalkyl substances, uh, that can remove these uh, PFOS uh, contaminants from water. PFAS are bioaccumulative, persistent, and toxic at very low concentrations. They're also nearly ubiquitous in the environment, occurring in places where they really shouldn't be, like human blood or surface water bodies or groundwater used for drinking water, and even in places as unusual as polar bear blood, thereby creating a environmental and a drinking water conflict and crisis. And the work at CoWork is focused on removing those PFAS for the beneficial use and reuse of water and to prevent uh, drinking water exposure. By working with CoWork, we're improving wastewater treatment, reduce the impact of climate change, and doing it in a, in a green or sustainable way. To evaluate the overall impact of the technologies that CoWork is developing in terms of cutting energy consumption, reducing greenhouse gas emissions from water treatment, our first step is really to build detailed models of these technologies. And from these models, we're able to understand uh, the projected energy consumption. For example, if we can see what's driving the energy consumption, if there's a certain step of the technology that is a major energy consumer, we can then advise our experimental partners and CoWork to address some of the challenges that we're seeing through our modeling work. Altogether, we can develop this holistic and consistent analysis methodology across the center so that we have a really complete picture of the cost and sustainability benefits of what we're doing. Anaerobic process that basically uh, you can uh, get energy from a uh, wastewater. So in fact, in wastewater, thermodynamically, there is more energy than the energy needed to treat them. If we improve the process to a level that we don't need to invest energy in the process, we have a net energy balance in the wastewater treatment. In addition, we can recover nutrients that are the outcome of the, in the effluent of the, of the wastewater, then we are in very good shape. We uh, try to recover all the important nutrients, namely nitrogen and phosphorus, so in a way we can reuse it for agriculture and other purposes. We develop uh, new alternatives or new uh, additions to soil aquifer treatment, all aiming at better recharge of the water, keeping the same water quality, but at the same time in smaller land area. Uh, examples include the use of TAF as a media on which the microbes are growing and making the process more efficient. And the last one is the injection of oxygen or injection of air into the system so that we can avoid drying periods and by that increase dramatically the infiltration capacity. And we're eager to start working on that in the pilot scale, seeing how it's really gonna work in the field. One of the main challenges about co-work is that we're taking technologies from bench scale at the lab all the way up 
to uh, a readiness level where they can be set up in the field and tested out in, in real conditions with uh, wind and rain and real effluent and real wastewater. The Argonne uh, Materials Engineering Research Facility, or, or MRF, is a unique facility in the Department of Energy National Lab System. It's able to produce uh, kilogram quantities of materials uh, and also um, uh, make samples av available for industrial uh, evaluation. And in, in co-work, it has the role that it's going to be doing the scale up of the materials that are developed elsewhere in the center so that these materials can be used in pilot scale uh, testing. We have the opportunity to take research that we develop in the U.S. at small scale, work with Argonne National Laboratory to scale it up to be appropriate for application to water systems, and then test it here in Israel, such as at the Shaftan facility where we are today. Shaftan and Mekoot, we are participating in all aspects of water domains, like water quality, wastewater treatment, hydrology, sustainability, and so on. We hope to implement these technologies that Cobalt will develop in our company in order to improve the efficiency of the operation of our facilities. We will be able to use the results in order to leverage and promote this technology in the regulatory uh, level and also in the municipalities in order to replace the conventional wastewater treatment plant that is uh, using too much energy and also a reduction of the carbon footprint that we have. It's collaboration between industrial or commercial uh, uh, stakeholders and the academy. So all together we're trying to produce large-scale units that uh, uh, can be applied worldwide. Water market is a global market, so anything developed here can be applied anywhere around the world, um, especially in, in places that are uh, remote and that are difficult to treat wastewater these days. The technologies we're working on uh, today here will in the future allow for a better, more cost-effective and more efficient wastewater treatment even in those remote places.